Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. If you've not watched yesterday's video where I did Game Week 32 with a special guest, go and check it out. It is in, uh, it'll be in the description of this video. But if you haven't checked it out, go and check it and then watch this video. Um, before I'm going, as, as I said, like and subscribe. Um, and follow us into it. Uh, we are playing up in Dingwall um, tomorrow. Depends on when you're watching this, but I am currently on the Saturday, so we're playing tomorrow against Ding out in Dingwall against Ross County. A tough place to go to. Where last time out we did a white beat a Ross County five 0 all in different circumstances where we're still in the title race. You know, some people might say, or oh, the, the truly strong believers will say, oh, oh, it's only fifteen points behind, we could still catch up. But the thing, the thing is, we just have to drop points, which is very hard for them to see. I know they're not unbeaten, but that's not they're unbeaten in the league. Obviously, they're not unbeaten in the the Betfred Cup. That was it. That's the only that's the only where they've flipped up. I mean, they've drawn in the league, but you know that's not our help. Um, so just need to keep winning the games. Or just need to keep winning games. In hand are out now. We've won all three of them. So have we? No, we've dr we've drawn one. I no. I don't know. Our games in hand are done anyway. I know that. Um, we can't set fifteen points behind Rangers. Rangers also play tomorrow after they played in Europe. Um where we just need to focus on ourselves, just need to keep winning games then the season. The season's already over for me anyway. Well, but most of you Celtic fans would agree with me, but the season's already over. But um three points, uh, another crucial three points I say crucial, you know, is second place we need anyway. Um Um I see same kind of line up, um, you know, to Wednesday night's one 0 victory over um Aberdeen. Um, you know, I see a, a, a Yeti and Edward starting up front, and compared to last Sunday, we only started, we only started Edward up front, which is quite weird to me, because, you know, alright, we had a couple of games coming up, which we already played there, you know, we should have played them. Um, anyway, we got the three points last Sunday, can we keep it up this Sunday? I am going to keep the same scoreline, as I said, in my predictions for the game week 32 uh, this weekend for the whole, the whole of the Premiership games. Um, it's going to be Ross County now, Celtic free, I think Celtic will get a goal in the first half as I said and then in the second half I think we'll get two goals, I don't know who, where they'll come from but we'll see, um, you know we'll probably have Scott Bain in goal, uh, like a back four of um, uh, Taylor, uh, Ayer and Welsh um, and then we've got obviously John Joe Kenny on the right hand side, the right back and midfield, you're talking like a uh, Mike Brown will probably come on again. Maybe Sorrow will start. I don't know. Um, Turnbull, McGregor, Christie on the right hand side. Um, I don't think Forrest will start. Um, and then up front, I would expect um, Edward and Ayeti to start up front. Um, you know, Ross County have been in decent form, I think, anyway. Um, but we've just got to focus on ourselves. Get the early goal, which is always crucial for Celtic, but as you've seen in the past a couple of weeks, early goals don't mean, mean, mean anything for Celtic, so, you know, we need to score goals, more goals, but the league's already over, it's just trying to see out the season now, hopefully in the summer we'll get a rebuild, I'm not too nervous about, um, if you if you haven't checked it out, please go over to my podcast channel where I share it with my friend Lewis, uh, we do, set this called the Celtic Mind podcast channel, um, it's on YouTube, um, we talked about about it on was it Monday, uh, where Liam Shaw signed a pre-contract with Celtic and a bit of about Lennon talking about it. I'm not too worried about it because maybe he's he's a young potential, a young prospect. Um, you know he's 19 or all right, he's might be crucial for Sheffield Wednesday, but um, I'm not too ner nervous about um, you know Lennon signing that player because he's not going to be starting next season right away. So we'll get the new man, hopefully a new manager. I'm hoping I like Eddie Howe. I like the I like the sign of Eddie Howe, but uh, with Celtic's board, I have no idea. So we'll find out. All we want is three points from all a good performance. I, I mean, it's like the last two performances. Last Sunday we go back to the St Johnson game. Like you feel like if you like normally games you can hardly lift your phone and something happens, a goal or a free kick or something happens. But when you lift your phone this time, like it's the same thing, it's the same thing every over and over. And there's, it's just nothing really. Well, you just want a good performance out of the team, really. That's all you want. Three points, good performance we want. Um, and that is the preview and predictions for the bit of the game, guys. Um, this this video will be going out on uh, my YouTube channel probably about three o'clock 
once uh, I've done a wee bit of editing on it and stuff, um, we'll probably pop it up on the channel. So make sure to subscribe, like, and if you're watching it live on Twitch, please follow. We're close to 100 followers, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.